Hi everyone and welcome back to Pokemons. Today we're diving into an exciting topic, 10 undervalued cards that are perfect to add to your collection or to consider as an investment. We go way back from the XY era to today's Scarlet and Violet Paldea Evolved. But before we do that, if you want to win this golden meal from Celebrations, you just gotta leave a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments about your opinion on the most undervalued card right now. Let's roll the intro. So first up on our list we got a Primal Kyogre EX. In the Pokemon trading card game, the Primal Reversion Pokemon were first seen in the Primal Clash expansion. These cards bring the Primal Reversion feature from the Generation 6 video games into the TCG. There are only four of these special cards available, the Primal Kyogre EX and the Primal Groudon EX from the Primal Clash set, and then of course the Primal Kyogre and Groudon from the Ancient Origins set. So we can definitely say that these cards are unique in their own way and they also represent, in my opinion, a powerful primal form of actually two popular Pokemons, Kyogre and Crowndon. These cards have also special abilities and attacks, so it makes them also unique in a trading card game deck. If we take a look at the price data of these cards, you can pick this card up for $16. This card increased 5% over the last year. If we take a look at the PSA report, you can pick this card up in a PSA 10 for $148. There are only 42 PSA 10 cards and that makes a ratio of 10%. I already mentioned it a few times in my previous videos, but there's a lot to say about buying raw single cards and created cards. My golden rule is if I want to buy single cards as a collector, most of the the time I buy them as raw singles if they are not the big chase cards from a specific set. As an investor I mainly focus on big created chase cards from specific sets to get as much resale opportunities as possible in the future. Of course if I can find some good deals on created cards with good artwork I can make an exception but a lot of the time these cards are pretty hard to resell and the margin on these cards is also lower compared to big expensive chase cards. Next on our list we got two cards out of Brilliant Stars from the Sword and Shield era. This set is still one of the most affordable alt art sets out of this era with a lot of underrated cards in my opinion. Of course we got the Ultimate Chase card, the Charizard V, but two other more affordable cards are the Umbrium V and the Umbrium V Max out of the Trainer Gallery. These are two cards that contain a beautiful artwork and one of the most popular Pokemons ever. This is actually a really important fact if you are looking for a good investment. Because in my opinion, the popularity of the Pokemon on your card plays also a big role in your future resale opportunities if you want to invest in single cards. Of course, just as a collector, it's a different story. You can just collect whatever you want whatever your favorite card is, but as an investor always make sure to take this into account. So first up the Umbreon V with a current price of $16 and if we take a look at the PSA report we can see that we can pick up a PSA 10 for only $52. There are 1800 PSA 10 copies of this card and this card has a PSA 10 ratio of 57%. Next up we get the Umbreon V Max with a current price of $22. This card increased 4% and has a current PSA 10 price of $60. Also, if we take a look at the PSA report, we can see that this card has a PSA 10 count of 3,500 cards and a PSA 10 ratio of 77%. Next up we got three legendary birds and I don't think that these Pokemon need an extra introduction. The Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno GX from Hidden Fates. Now this card combines popularity in every possible way in my opinion. We have three popular Pokemon, we have the amazing tag team combination out of the popular set Hidden Fates from the Sun and Moon era. If we take a look at the price data, we see that this card has a value of only $10. This card increased 29% over the last year and has a PSA 10 value of only $43. The PSA report shows us that there are 5000 cards in a PSA 10 and the PSA 10 ratio is 71%. I know it's not a big expensive collector's item but I proudly own a PSA 10 of this card. I didn't buy it as an investment but as a collector's item. I really like the color combination on this card and every time I see this card it reminds me of the old school Game Boy times trying to catch these legendary birds as a kid. 
Next in line we got two cards from Astral Radiance and this set is probably one of the few remaining sets out of the Sword and Shield era that is still pretty affordable. However the booster box got recently out of stock on the Pokemon Center and there have been already some decent price increases on sealed booster boxes. In my opinion this is one of the most underrated sets out of the Sword and Shield era and I picked two interesting cards out of the set to highlight in this video because I think they are very interesting to buy as a collector but also as an investor. First up we got the Machamp V, the big chase card out of Astral Radiance with a current value of $98. This card decreased 16% over the last year. If you want to pick up this card in a PSA 10 you can do that for $181. The PSA report shows us there are 2300 PSA 10 copies of this card and this card has a ratio of 59%. If we take a look at the price data of the Beedrill V, we can see that this card has a current value of $23, decreased 16% over the last year and has a current PSA 10 value of only $65. The PSA report shows us that there are 1700 PSA 10 copies of this card and this card has a PSA 10 ratio of 67%. The following card is probably coming out of my favorite Scarlet and Violet set yet, the Tyranitar out of Paldea Evolved. Whether you want to show off this card as a collector or you want to buy this to resell in the future as an investor, this card has everything you need. Paldea Evolved is one of the sets I talk about a lot in my videos. I think it's probably one of the most undervalued recent modern Pokemon sets. It holds a beautiful chase card, a magic arb going already for $500 in a PSA 10 which is pretty crazy and a fun fact this set is currently out of stock on the Pokemon Center. If we take a look at the price data of the Tyranitar you can see that you can pick this card up for only $18. This card decreased 22% over the last year and the current PSA 10 value of this card is $142. There are only at this moment 153 PSA 10 cards and this card has a PSA 10 ratio of only 16%. So if you are able to pick up a PSA 10 of this Tyranitar, I think you're doing a really, really good job. Next up, we got a card coming out of the most hyped set in recent weeks, the Celebi from Fusion Strike. One of the best, cheapest, good looking alt art cards out of the Sword and Shield era in my opinion. I think this card has also everything to buy as a collector's item or to invest in and resell in the future. We all know that Fusion Strike will probably do a good job on the long term. Maybe this set can have a little retracement after skyrocketing prices in recent weeks, but if you have a long term vision I think this card can do pretty good on the long term. The price data of the Celebi shows us that this card has a value of $24. This card decreased 17% over the last year, has a current PSA 10 value of $93. There are 3000 PSA 10 copies of this card and the PSA 10 ratio is 50%. Number 9 is a card I chose because of several reasons. It's the Pikachu VMAX out of the Trainer Gallery from Lost Origin. First of all, the Pokemon series will continue without the legendary couple, Ash and Pikachu. And that is on its own, in my opinion, on the long term, probably already enough to be a valuable card, to be a unique card for collectors in the upcoming maybe 10, 15 years. And next up, Lost Origin will definitely follow the same way as Fusion Strike did. This booster box and its cards were pretty affordable for a very long time. But once the supply of booster boxes will decrease, I think prices can go absolutely crazy for Lost Origin. The price data of the Pikachu VMAX shows us that this card has a value of $33. It decreased 19% over the last year and you can pick up this beautiful Pikachu VMAX in a PSA 10 for only $89. The PSA 10 report shows us also that there are 3700 PSA 10 copies and this card has a ratio of 68%. Last but not least, it's probably my favorite card as a collector, but also as an investor right now, the Blaziken VMAX out of Chilling Rain. One of the most unique artwork ever, very hard to pull and really low amount of PSA 10 compared to other big chase cards out of the Sword and Shield era. If we take a look at the price data, we can see that you can pick up this card for $208 in a raw version. This card increased 9% over the last year. You can pick up this card in a PSA 10 for $383 right now. And the PSA 10 report shows us that there are 2,754 PSA 10 copies and a PSA 10 ratio of 70%. And there you have 10 undervalued cards 
great to add to your collection or as an investment on the long term. Now, if you like this video and you want to win the Golden Mew from Celebrations, you just gotta leave a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments about your most undervalued card right now. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.